We've got Merritt Centennial's head coach and GM Luke Pierce on the line with us. Uh, Luke, you've announced that there's another exhibition schedule uh, to your uh, preseason matchups against uh, BCHL clubs. You're taking on a, a team from the BCIHL uh, in the SFU clan. How did this one come about? Well, actually, it was uh, brought up by Jeff Dubois, the, the general manager uh, at SFU. Um, just mentioned they were looking for a game and, and saw we had an open night and at first, we were uh, we were happy with our five games, and we had some plans to to do some other team building stuff on the Friday. But uh, we talked about it. Brian uh, Barrett and I talked a little bit about it, and thought that you know it'd be a, a real good opportunity for us to do something unique and and give our guys a, a little different look. So we're uh, we're really excited about bringing them in here. Do you see it as a win win situation for yourself and also for the SFU club? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for us, it's uh, an opportunity, like I said, to, to expose our players to something a little different. And, uh, you know, I think the, the BCIHL is, is becoming a, a, a real strong league that's going to be, uh, you know, right on par or, or better than the Alberta College League, which we see a lot of players uh, from the BCHL move on to. And this will give them some exposure to, to that team and to that league. And, you know, hopefully uh, down the road we see some more players staying and playing hockey up here and uh, in a very good league. And for the clan, I think it's a, a great opportunity for them to showcase themselves to uh, – not only to ourselves, but to, to all their BCHL clubs, because I know they're playing, uh, I think, three other games against teams in our league, and uh, I think it's a real smart move on their part. And this is the only one in the interior, though. I do know that for sure, so uh, definitely a good opportunity there. Now, how about um, your club? I mean, you've mentioned to me before that by the time you go off to 100 Mile, you're hoping to be about down to about you know 30 guys, that kind of thing. Do you see dressing a more veteran type of lineup against SFU, or do you think that uh, getting some of the younger guys in against uh, a team that's made up of not only ex BCHL players or a lot of them, but also older players would benefit the young guys. Yeah, we're uh, we'll kind of wait and see where we're at uh, uh, earlier in that week uh, with our roster. Um, we've got what we think is a pretty important exhibition game on Saturday against Vernon. That uh, you know we're going to probably ice a, a pretty strong lineup there. Um, at the same time, like you mentioned, this is an older club, uh, a more mature group that uh, is also very talented and skilled. So, we, uh, you know, we'll we'll figure it out when we get closer to. But I would imagine a real strong mix of our veterans will be playing in that game, and uh, we'll have to play again the next night against uh, against Vernon. So, uh, I know there's uh, Brent Fletcher for sure will be in the lineup. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll see who we uh, who we surround them with. Now you've got. Uh, I was just going to lead right into my next question. There, there's two former Centennials on that SFU squad, and in Graham Gordon, who I know will want to play very well in the Nicola Valley Memorial Arena, and Todd Fletcher, of course, Brent's brother. Uh, do you think that the uh, chirping's already gone on between those two? Have you talked to Brent about it? I haven't actually had a chance to talk to Brent, uh, but I, I would imagine that uh, it's got to be pretty exciting for them. I know um, for myself, we had an opportunity just uh, when I played in Revelstoke, we had an alumni game, and, and both my brothers were a part of it, and uh, one was on my team, and the other one played against us, so uh, we had a ton of fun doing it, and, and even in a game that really you know means nothing at the end of the day, um, it's just a, a blast, and, and I bet that you know those two have probably never faced off against each other in, in uh, you know, a level of hockey such as this so um, I think they'll have a lot of fun and I'd imagine there might be some wagering going on on the <laughs> side but uh, we're, we're excited to see what happens. Do you think that uh, this is something that your club might delve into in the future maybe there's games against TRU or maybe Okanagan College in the future? Yeah we had talked to TRU earlier in the year and it just uh, it was difficult for us to, to find something that worked and, and like I said this isn't something that you know, we had done a lot of planning on it. It just kind of last moment popped up, and and we made a decision to go ahead with it. And we'll use this as a trial and and see, uh, you know, if it if it does indeed prove beneficial. And I think it will. And uh, what we'd like to do, hopefully in the future, is is build on it and uh, you know create to almost a bit of a, a rivalry and and a traditional thing that that we promote every year as you know some sort of educational type. Uh, exposure game and um you know hopefully create some real buzz and i think it'd be great to get tru in here at some point you know with them being uh, just down the road and, and also having some former centennials yeah eight former centennials on their squad after the uh, commitment of shane Oatway actually that just happened today so definitely a, a bit of a merit flavor on that team now when it comes to this game the fans might not know what the bcihl is all about um is this going to be a bit of a different feel do you think than a regular exhibition game um, there probably will be originally. I, I don't know. You know, our guys might uh, have a little different perspective of it, and 
um, you know, to see how we prepare and get ready. But what we're going to be doing is really focusing on us building our, you know, we're still working on getting our systems ready for our regular season. So it'll be more emphasis on what we're doing and, and not our opponents so much. And, um, you know, I think at the end of the day, when you get a, a couple minutes into any hockey game, um, the intensity seems to build. Uh, it was no different. I was had the pleasure of playing in the Canucks alumni game this year and um it was supposed to be a lot of fun and it was but you know five minutes in there's some guys that are really pushing to to compete so I know it'll be competitive once we get going and um I think you'll see a little different style of hockey from them uh playing college myself I know it's a it's a little more uh, intelligent of a game the guys are more mature and um not as quick quite as much running around and, and physical play so um, I think it'll be a really good experience for our guys. Well and I guess it almost is going to end up being a, an under 20 against an over 20 type of situation Yeah it, it is essentially and, and they're guys that you know are, are recent graduates of our league so it'll be interesting for, for our players even to judge and, and see where they stack up against them and um, you know they've got some guys there that I'm sure uh, you know could have played it at a lot of different levels and uh, have decided to attend a, a very prestigious university in the province, and um, it will be great to, to see them in here and, and display.